Keep watching Charis TV. Um, hello, my name is Cynthia. I'm, I come from Pretoria. I'm with my son here, Galeto. Um, I visited uh, Charis Ministries several times, so um, my son had some challenges some attacks, so I thought it was relevant to bring him here today. The challenges that he had is, is academic stagnant. His, his career is just stagnant, and he ended up, I don't know, with the wrong choice of the friends or whatever, but he ended up going for substance abuse, Yes, which, which affects me emotionally. So he was taking care. He was he will break for several months. Like the last time he was okay for nine months. And then all of a sudden he went back again. Because I I took him to the doctor. So now I feel like I needed a permanent solution. So that's why I took him here. My name is Kelizu. I'm from Pretoria North. Uh, how is that head was in grade eight? That was 2015. So I met this other girl, this other colored girl. I was dating. I was new to the place, but I was feeling unwelcome because of. It was a very dangerous school, let's say. But it started in a funny way because I was dating this girl and she was taking them. She was older than me. The whole thing was just, now that I'm, I can say I'm more matured, when I can recap, but I can see that though. I could have made the choice, I could have not made this choice, but now the pastor told me that it's never too late. And we spoke about the opportunities that I have now and where I am going. That it, it was all the devil's word. Yes, there was a time where I was clean for nine months. But then I used to take the substance also for sexual stuff. That's when uh, I would meet this other girl who so we are used to someone being, let's just say that's fast. Yeah, so I would take it for sexual yeah. Um, I found out after, like, you know, I know him, but I could notice that there was something wrong. The movements, the tiredness, always tired, not eating, and he's a happy person. He was no longer happy. He was always aggressive, and some of the things in the house, like small things like gadgets, they'll disappear, then he'll be always on the wrong side of the law at school. So that's how I realized. As a parent, obviously, it, it, it's, it's very stressing, especially when you see your child not going anywhere. Yes. Today I met this man of the God one-on-one, -on -one, and she said, and he said, where I am going on Monday, which is a, it's a learnership that I'm doing on Monday. I'm going there Monday. And he said, that's just the beginning. More is coming. The devil knew 
he wouldn't strike if there was no future. And he told me that uh, I'm going to come back very soon. Like I was surprised, he even told me my dream car and lots of money coming my way. I must keep on praying and believe yeah. and stay away, ground myself mm -hmm. and also to love my father for the things that he has done for me and appreciate him more. Yes. To tell the truth, <laughs> When I came here, I was like, ah, I've seen these people on TV, man. The, uh, the things are just they're like, ah, well. But then he mentioned something. Mm -hmm. And that person, and where I last saw him. So currently I'm living with my stepfather, which I grew up with, mm -hmm. and my real father, which is still alive, but I'm not close to him. I don't even contact him. I don't. We, we don't speak. And he told me that that person, my real father, was just there to give birth to me. Mm -hmm. That's what that is God's plan, and I should concentrate on my father because he's the one that is there with me and will always be there for me. And he mentioned when we met last time and we just passed each other like nothing happened, like we don't know each other. He told me where I was, I was like, hey. That's when I, I saw that he told me that I should pray more and believe in Christianity and stay grounded and patient. He did that I must. I was about to say it up when I said patience. Mm -hmm. From addictions, girls, God will give me the right one when the time is right. Mm -hmm. Now I should focus on myself and work myself up mm -hmm. when the time is right. And All shall prosper. Which, and he mentioned that like, this is will be my, the contract that I have to sign on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I would like to apologize to this woman, which is my mother, the one who brought me to earth, the one who's always been there for me, the one who's, who's gonna be always be there for me. And the best, is, the best is still yet to come. And I'm always gonna be there for you, no matter what. And I would like to apologize to you for the things that I've done and for the emotional damage that I've caused. You are my mother, and you've always been my mother, and I love you for that. That you've never fallen me to the hood. You, in your mind, you'll be thinking, okay, it's just for today. You wake up with withdrawals, cravings, it says more. I was good in academics, but it all started with, like, you'll be high, and in your mind you'll be like, like you can see, when a person is high on those addictions, they'll be thinking like, they're more intelligent than, you'll, you'll be seeing yourself like you're more intelligent than other people, and you're not. So I'll be like, ah, my mind will just, ah, why study? I started dropping at school. That's when my mother saw that something was wrong. I'm encouraging others to stay away when you, and pray more. Focus on those who love you, which is your family. There's no one out there who loves you. And stay more grounded, pray. And look what will benefit you in the future. Nothing comes easy. Everything always comes to light and it destroys those who love you, which is your family. Outside there, they'll be happy for you, that you are going down. And uh, I want to tell everyone that there are always temptations. You just have to move away from them. They will always be temptations. And to those who are suffering there, maybe people who know me or what, because I've... Yeah. 
in old days okay. So I, I'm praying for him. So God can give him money to buy the car of his choice. Yeah. You are supporting him. So now, you see this thing that you got now, the contract that you got, something bigger will come. Yes, yes. something better is coming. Yes. And when you will come and give us a testimony. Yes. But the best thing you can do is to honor your mom. Yes. You honor your mom by living right. You leave all these Nyaope boys, you know. Uh, you, you, I, I said this thing, you cannot have attacks without future. You must bear that in your mind. You can't have attacks without future. If you see attacks, there's future. Definitely. Definitely. So you're promising me that you're not going to do that again, right? Yes. So when I see you, I believe I'll see you blessed. Mama, you attend the church here. Well, you come sometimes. I come sometimes. Mm. That's good. That's good. for a better future in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.